guys. Well, a couple weeks ago, I introduced a new Mach 3 screen set for the Carousel ATC. And keeping with the same theme, I decided to revamp all the other screens that I offer. And in today's video, we're going to talk about one of them, which is the CNC router. I tried to keep the same theme throughout all the different screen sets. And the CNC router screen is no different. So on the main screen here, we have... We have all the functions you need for a CNC router. Uh, we've added some new features to this CNC router screen, such as Auto Zero, Spin the Warm Up, a park position so that we can load sheet goods. We also have some of the standard features that I have available on all the screens, such as uh, our air input for our low air pressure. On the probing tab, now this particular tab is mainly set up for a, a touch probe, however it can be used for a grounded tool uh, to touch the outside of your part, the inside. Uh, you can find centers, either outside centers or internal centers. Uh, you can probe round objects. I've also added helpful help menus to kind of explain all the different buttons on the screen and what they're used for. Just click on the medic bag here and it'll pull up a nice helpful menu. So we have our search speed. We have our auto zero X Y. Click on our probe Z. Our set tool height. And it gives you useful information on all of these different items. Over here we have our probe Z. Now this plate thickness here, this is for a movable touch plate. This is the, the information you'll enter for your auto zero or if you're just probing your Z using a manual uh, movable touch plate, excuse me. Also, we will use this plate thickness for setting our tool height manually. Another nice feature about this screen is the results window down here. So if you're doing some probing, it will give you the positive, the negative, and the result of the two. Uh, these probe screens are really uh, very useful and they work really well. I haven't had any issues other than uh, just the learning curve of what it's trying to do and what it's not doing. So you have to be mindful of the information you get down here in the uh, status line uh, when some of these uh, routines start you may not have the correct information down here and so it doesn't want to work quite right uh, next we have our diagnostic tab uh, this tab is really useful when trying to diagnose an issue while you're running g-code you can run from this screen uh, we have our uh, toolpath window our g-code play pause and stop so this screen is really nice. We can see our inputs and outputs in real time while the machine is running. Uh, so this particular screen is very useful. Next we have our ATC tab. Uh, very similar to all my other screens. However, they do work a little bit different. I've found over the years that most people just stick the tool in the rack when they're manually loading it. Uh, originally, I thought if you had a huge router that you would just want to put the tool in the spindle and then have it send it over there and put it in the rack, but most people just do it manually. So I've changed these buttons up here. These numbers also are buttons, which when pressed will just initiate a M6T90 for slot 8 here, uh, M6T4 for slot 4. Uh, whatever tool is, happens to be in that particular slot, it will initiate a tool change and load that tool. Uh, this seems to be more convenient, so I've updated that. Uh, down here we have our tool in spindle. We also have our indications for tool clamped and released. We have a button here to manually toggle the release and lock of the ATC. We've got our DROs down here. Uh, we have a setup button, our low air pressure indicator here, a delete button which will delete all of our tool inventory should we wish to do so. Don't worry, accidentally pushing this, you can it'll prompt you so you if you don't want to 
delete it you don't have to uh, we have some tool information there's a couple of spots here over the years I've done a lot of Mach 3 screens for CNC routers and they're all a little bit different uh, some people have vacuum tables some people have uh, pneumatic slides to move the rack in and out or up and down and so there's some room here to add some features later on should uh, uh, you need some customization done uh, the setup tab the setup tab is pretty straightforward and easy to use although it looks like there's a lot of information here and there is it's not really that complicated once you go through it and try to set it up uh, next we have our G code tab here this just gives you some information uh, and some definitions for different Mach 3 G code and M codes and that pretty much is the CNC router Mach 3 screen set. Guys, if you're interested in the Mach 3 CNC router screen set, you can stop by the website at cncforxr7.com and check it out. If you have any questions, you can uh, email me. I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down below. That way, when I post a new video, they'll send you a link, and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.